channel your inner Indiana Jones and join us as we explore some of the most amazing discoveries ever. Our ancient ancestors were really quite fascinating, and thanks to the hard work of archaeologists, now we can see exactly what they got up to in their daily lives. From hidden cities to ancient wonders, these are the 20 greatest archaeological discoveries ever. Serapim of Alexandria Okay, let's explore the fascinating story of the Serapim of Alexandria. This old temple dedicated to the Egyptian god Serapis was more than a place of worship. It was a storehouse of knowledge and wisdom. With tall columns, detailed statues, and important rituals taking place, the Serapim would have been seriously impressive. In its prime, the Serapim had a giant library, much like the famous Library of Alexandria, with scrolls, texts, and manuscripts from the ancient world. It was like the Wikipedia of its time, attracting scholars, philosophers, and curious minds from all around the Mediterranean. Yes, before the internet, you actually had to travel across the continent to get your hands on some knowledge. The Serapim wasn't just for religious activities, it was a center for sharing ideas. Pretty cool, eh? Sadly, its history took a dark turn when it was destroyed twice, first by Julius Caesar in 48 BCE, and later by Theophilus in 391 CE. These events left us with just ruins of its former greatness. Yes, this old library is now just a remnant of what it used to be. It's still one of the most epic discoveries of all time, though. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. And now it's time for our sweet topic. It looks like these archaeologists might have bitten off more than they can chew. This freaky discovery was carved out of the permafrost, and we kind of wish it had stayed frozen in the ice. Just look at the fangs on this thing. But what do you guys think? Use the hashtag sweet topic in the comment section below to share your thoughts. Sutton Who Welcome to Sutton Who, the archaeological wonderland of Suffolk, England. That'll make your jaw drop and your inner history geek do a happy dance. It was 1939 in Edith Preddy's backyard, when some mysterious mounds grabbed her attention. Edith, being the ultimate sleuth, roped an archaeological Basil Brown for a bit of digging. Little did they know, they were about to hit the historical jackpot. They stumbled upon a royal ship burial from 7th century. Not just any ship, a whopping 27 meter long one, fit for an Anglo-Saxon VIP. Gold, silver, weaponry, armor, you name it, Sutton Hoo's got it. But the real showstopper? The Sutton Hoo helmet, a piece that puts our modern day headgear to shame. But who's the mystery owner of this regal ship? Scholars are still arguing over it. Some say it could even be the ancient King Raidwald. In a nutshell, Sutton Hoo isn't your typical archaeological site. It's a binge-worthy saga of unexpected discoveries, artifacts, and a royal mystery that keeps us all on the edge of our seats. Gnosis This incredible archaeological site is on the beautiful island of Crete in Greece, and it has the biggest and best preserved Minoan palace complex known to man, dating all the way back to 2000 BC. That's seriously old. In the late 19th century, Sir Arthur Evans, a British archaeologist with a passion for adventure, discovered the site. He thought it might be the legendary King Minos' labyrinth. We feel a mystery brewing. Yes, Indiana Jones himself would have been stoked to discover this ancient site. The Gnosis Palace Complex is an amazing feat of architecture with colorful frescoes, detailed carvings, and a super advanced drainage system that could outshine some modern cities. Besides all the Minotaur rumors, this site also gives us a peek into the daily lives of the Minoan people, showcasing activities like cooking, weaving, and making pottery. And hey, who knows, maybe the Minotaur really did once call this place home. Stranger things have happened. Machu Picchu Perched 7,000 feet above sea level in the Andes Mountains is Machu Picchu, a symbol of the Incan Empire and one of the new seven wonders of the world. Drawing travelers to Peru from across the world, this ancient city is named in Quechua as Old Peak or Old Mountain, and consists of over 150 buildings, including baths, houses, temples, and sanctuaries. The Incans certainly knew how to keep busy. The 50-pound stones, believed to have been transported without wheels, were pushed up by the steep side by hundreds of men. The Incas, renowned as some of the world's best masons, employed the ashlar technique, in constructing structures where stones fit seamlessly without mortar, leaving no space for even a knife blade. Now that's impressive. 
While theories about Machu Picchu's purpose differ, it was only known locally until Yale professor Hiram Bingham rediscovered the site in 1911, inspiring the book The Lost City of the Incas. Machu Picchu, functioning as an astronomical observatory, features the sacred Intuahuatana stone, accurately marking the two equinoxes. Twice a year, the sun aligns directly over the stone, casting no shadow. We've got a feeling there's more to Machu Picchu than meets the eye. Despite its hidden location from below, Machu Picchu miraculously escaped destruction during the Spanish conquest. Today it remains a beloved archaeological gem, mesmerizing visitors worldwide. Who wouldn't want to visit one of the seven wonders of the world? Tikal In the dense rainforest, you'll find the old Mayan city of Tikal, a fascinating archaeological site. It's been around since 800 BC and used to be home to a whopping 100,000 people. Yep, it's hard to believe that this place was ever forgotten about. If you visit this incredible site, you can explore the impressive 70-meter temple of the Great Jaguar, a place of worship for the Mayan gods. There's also the Temple of the Masks and the Temple of the Double-Headed Serpent, both seriously awesome structures. Tikal was a significant hub for politics and religion, divided into the central Acropolis with royal residences and temples, and the Great Plaza, a public space for ceremonies and trade. Abandoned around 800 AD, Tikal remained hidden until rediscovered by archaeologists. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it attracts visitors worldwide, eager to admire its ruins and discover the ancient Mayan culture and history. Gobekli Tepe Constructed around 11,000 years ago, Gobekli Tepe in Turkey is believed to be the world's first temple, predating even Stonehenge by a whopping 6,000 years. When we say ancient, we mean this place is seriously ancient. With stone columns weighing approximately 10 tons and reaching heights of up to 16 feet, building this structure without advanced tools or technology was no easy task. How did they do it? Well, we're not really sure. The site is adorned with carvings of lions, scorpions, and vultures on some rocks, leading researchers to ponder whether Gobekli Tepe served as a place of worship for an ancient death cult or perhaps a cemetery given the discovery of over 100,000 animal bone fragments. Pretty creepy, right? Experts speculate that the area might have been a lush meadow with rivers, raising the possibility of the site being the location of the legendary Garden of Eden. Using radar and geomagnetic surveys, scientists have uncovered at least 16 more hidden circles buried beneath the ground. It doesn't get much more mysterious than this place. Acropolis of Athens the Acropolis of Athens is a place of architectural marvels, goddess dedications, and even a sprinkle of controversy. The Parthenon, a certified masterpiece, stands proudly as the OG of classical Greek architecture, dedicated to Athena. Serving as Athena's VIP lounge, the Acropolis housed religious and civic buildings, shaping Western civilization in the 5th century BCE. Yep, this place is kind of a big deal. The Erechtheion, a dedication party for both Athena and Poseidon, steals the show with its caryatid porch featuring sassy female figures. Despite a tumultuous history of wars and explosions during the Venetian siege, the ongoing restoration keeps this ancient site thriving in the 21st century. And then there's the real drama, the Elgin Marbles, the center of the Acropolis controversy which are held in the British Museum. As you can imagine, this has sparked a heated debate between Greece and the UK. It's a marble dilemma. I mean, what makes the UK think they can hold on to a piece of Greece's history? Despite the controversy, this amazing place is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and the Acropolis still attracts millions, offering a glimpse into a world where gods and mortals collide. Lalibela Churches in Lalibela, Ethiopia, you'll find an astonishing display of skill and artistry, 11 impressive churches carved directly from the rock. These are churches like you've never seen before, constructed from 800 years ago, during the 12th century. These monolithic churches commissioned by King Lalibela still captivate with their beauty, and we can see why. King Lalibela, a devoted Christian, envisioned these churches as a new Jerusalem for Ethiopia and directed his builders to carve them from solid blocks of stone. The result is a remarkable collection of buildings that not only look stunning, but also function as places of worship. Inside each church boasts chapels, passages, tombs, and the world's oldest baptistry. Today, people continue to visit these churches for religious ceremonies like mass and baptisms. 
these ancient chapels have well and truly stood the test of time. Hal Cephalini Hippogeum Underneath Malta lies the ancient Hippogeum of Hal Cephalini. We're talking about a secret underground temple dating all the way back approximately 3,500 years. Carved meticulously from solid limestone, this unique site stands as the sole prehistoric underground temple globally. Now that's impressive. Our ancient ancestors designed it for worship, intentionally imbuing it with the sacred frequency of 111 hertz. The structure with its incredible echo and reverberation offers a real sensory experience. In fact, it served as a gathering place for an ancient cult engaged in earth-related rituals, celebrating the cycles of the moon, sun, and seasons. The significance of 111 hertz extends beyond Malta, resonating in prehistoric structures worldwide, such as burial mounds in Ireland too. Who knew this particular frequency was so important? We certainly didn't. Intriguingly, scientific studies reveal that at 111 hertz, the brain's prefrontal cortex and language center deactivate, facilitating a meditative state. Whoa. Even without modern technology, our ancient ancestors seem to have grasped this concept, deliberately crafting their temple to resonate at this precise frequency. We don't know about you, but we've got goosebumps just thinking about it. Spanish Stonehenge in the province of Caceres, in a reservoir, hosts the Dolmen of Guadalaperal, also dubbed the Spanish Stonehenge. This ancient stone spectacle featuring massive megalithic stones hails from 5000 BC. Exuding mind-blowingly ancient vibes thanks to Spain's worst drought in history, this impressive stone circle emerged, impressing millions of people all over the world. German archaeologist Hugo Obermeier unveiled it in 1926, but a floodgate fiasco in 1963 submerged it until now. These dolmens boast vertically stacked stones supporting a hefty flat boulder, showcasing truly remarkable ancient architecture. If you thought Stonehenge was cool, then you're gonna love this Spanish stone circle. What we really want to know is why were our ancestors so obsessed with building these structures? Maybe one day we'll discover the truth behind all these stone circles. Petra Almost 10,000 years old, this incredible ancient city believed to be constructed before 7,000 BC has a fascinating history. It served as a vibrant trade hub for Arabian incense, Indian spices, and silks from China. But it wasn't just a place for shopping. Oh no, people have already actually inhabited this mystical metropolis since prehistoric times. Petra, nestled between the Red Sea and the Dead Sea, was carved into the rocks. Showcasing remarkable architecture, archaeologists have uncovered temples, mines, churches, and tombs alongside mysterious passages and gorges extending into the mountains. However, the city faces threats as the stone is susceptible to constant erosion and destructive flash floods. Recognizing its significance, the UNESCO designated the ancient city of Petra as a World Heritage Site in 1985. It would be a real shame to lose this amazing wonder of the world. We hope Petra is still standing proud for many years to come. Cave of Altamira Situated near the town of Santillana del Mar in Cantabria, Spain, this remarkable site has welcomed visitors since being declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1985. Spanning an impressive 270 meters with a main passage towering at 6 meters in height, its winding chambers are a must-see for any traveler. But what lies within this epic cave? Archaeologists delving into the depths of the cave unearth artifacts dating back 22,000 years, continuing up until the Middle Magdalenian, spanning from roughly 16,500 to 13,000 years ago. The cave, forgotten after a rockfall sealed its entrance 13,000 years ago, was rediscovered in 1868. But aside from ancient artifacts, there's something else seriously cool going on in this cavern. Yep, we're talking about cave art. The cave's breathtaking artistry features drawings of extinct steppe bison, horses, a large doe, and a wild boar, crafted with ochre and charcoal. Particularly impressive is the polychrome ceiling, showcasing a three-dimensional effect etched into the walls by ancient artists. Our ancient ancestors had serious talent. Due to the potential damage caused by a high number of visitors, the cave was closed in 1977, reopening with limited access in 1982, with only a few visitors allowed daily. The waiting list extends to three years, 
Unfortunately, green mold on some paintings led to the closure of public access in 2002. Yep, that's our dreams of visiting the mystical cave of Altamira shattered. Boro Budur It's time to discover Boro Budur, an incredible temple that was forgotten for centuries. In the 9th century, the Sayalendra dynasty aimed to build the world's largest Buddhist temple, resulting in the creation of Boro Budur. Surprisingly, the temple was abandoned in the 14th century as Java's Hindu and Buddhist kingdoms declined. Covered by volcanic ash and jungle growth, Boro Budur remained untouched for centuries. It wasn't until 1814 that Sir Thomas Stamford Raffles, the British Governor General of Java, stumbled upon the Hidden Temple, bringing it to the world's attention. Boro Budur, with its nine stacked platforms topped with a central dome, features 2,672 relief panels and 504 Buddha statues. That's a whole lot of Buddhas. The central dome is surrounded by 72 Buddha statues seated inside perforated stupas, creating a truly stunning sight. Even today, Boro Budur continues to be a popular pilgrimage destination for Buddhists, especially during Vasek Day. And we can see why. Chichen Itza Let's explore the historical Mayan city of Chichen Itza, a globally recognized landmark. Situated on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, this iconic city is a major tourist attraction and an active archaeological site where new discoveries are made regularly. Chichen Itza earned the UNESCO World Heritage Site status in 1988 and was voted one of the new seven wonders of the world in 2007. That's right, it's another wonder of the world, you guys. Spanning almost two square miles, the city boasts remarkable stone structures, including residential and commercial buildings, along with a network of nearly 100 paved roadways and sidewalks. Quite an achievement considering the absence of paved streets in many European cities during that time. These guys were way ahead of the curve. At the city's northern end, there's a significant cenote, a natural spring with immense ceremonial and archaeological importance. Despite long-standing rumors of human sacrifice, the cenote was dredged in the early 1900s, revealing precious artifacts and human remains with bone marks and wounds, suggesting that they were sacrificed before being thrown into the cenote. Even wonders of the world can get a little gruesome sometimes. The Lost City of Pompeii up next, it's Pompeii. Chances are you've seen the mummies of Pompeii before. In 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted in Italy, covering the city of Pompeii in hot lava and ash, leading to the tragic deaths of its residents. However, their preserved skeletal figures remained hidden in ash and dust until an excavation team uncovered Pompeii in 1738. You might have seen these eerie corpses from the infamous city. But did you know that Italian archaeologist Giuseppe Fiorelli, who took charge of the site in 1860, is responsible for their preserved appearance? Fiorelli recognized soft cavities in the deserted town's remains and filled them with high-grade plaster, creating the haunting mummies we've seen in the media. These bodies often appear contorted in fetal positions, seemingly shielding themselves from the eruption, their faces frozen in expressions of pain, and some even screaming for their lives. Yikes, history can be pretty gory sometimes. Great Wall of China Get ready because we're about to embark on a journey along the Great Wall of China, a whopping 13,000 miles of history, myths, and a jaw-dropping construction. Now, let's debunk a space myth right now. Despite what you've heard, the Great Wall isn't exactly waving hello from space. Astronauts have revealed that it's actually very difficult to spot with the naked eye from low Earth orbit. Sorry space enthusiasts, no wall spotting from the International Space Station. Built over centuries by different dynasties, the wall wasn't just for keeping out Mongol invaders. It was a multi-purpose super wall, defending against nomadic groups and military threats. Move over, Oasis, because the Great Wall of China is a wonder of its own right. It snagged a spot in the Seven Wonders of the World list, cementing its status as a historical marvel that'll leave you in awe. Uluru, Australia Rock In central Australia, there's a well-known sandstone monolith called Uluru. Yep, you've probably seen pictures of it before. It's incredible, right? It's highly revered by the local community who care for this remarkable landmark. Originally, outsiders became aware of Uluru in the 1930s, leading to an influx of tourists exploring this stunning rock. However, starting in October 2019, 
authorities decided to permanently close Uluru to climbing, aiming to show respect for the rock, the surrounding land, and the local people. The director of the Central Land Council representing the indigenous people in the Central Australia stated that this decision was about righting a historical wrong. It's time this rock got the respect it deserves. The Ancient City of Troy Over 4,000 years old, the ancient city of Troy played a pivotal role in one of the greatest battles in Greek history. If the legend of the Trojan horse rings a bell, Troy is the origin of that tale. This historical metropolis in its prime during the Bronze Age was seriously extravagant and potentially housed up to 10,000 people. The ancient Romans even claimed descent from Troy's citizens. Starting as a modest farming and fishing town around 3000 BC, Troy expanded over time until its complete destruction around 1180 BC. To pinpoint its exact location, archaeologists believe they have identified the site overlooking the plains along the Aegean coast in Turkey, where ancient Troy once stood. Yep, the ancient city of Troy is where so many myths and legends started. It truly is one of the greatest archaeological discoveries ever. Dead Cities of Syria Get ready to dive into the fascinating world of the dead cities in northwest Syria, a mind-blowing journey through time where ancient ruins tell tales of Roman and Byzantine glory. Early European explorers dubbed these abandoned wonders dead cities, and trust us, the name is as eerie as the vibes you'll feel exploring these remarkably well-preserved relics. Ghost Town, anyone? Step back to the 5th to 8th centuries when these villages were the OG agricultural powerhouses, with wheat, olives, olive oil, grapes, and wine everywhere you looked. The ancient Syrians were the original foodies of their time. Albara is the dead city that shrugged off Muslim conquest but succumbed to crusader charm in the 11th century. Then an earthquake in 1157 made the city totally uninhabitable, and guess what? These dead cities aren't just hauntingly beautiful, they've snagged a spot on the UNESCO World Heritage Sites list, elevating their historical and cultural street cred. Time to check them off your bucket list. Terracotta Army In 1974, a group of Chinese farmers struck an unexpected treasure. Not gold, but clay. They accidentally discovered the ancient tomb of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. And it was no ordinary burial site. Along the, with the emperor, an entire army lay at rest. And we're not talking about a small group. We're talking about thousands of terracotta warriors. These clay soldiers, towering at six feet, were meticulously crafted, from their clothing and armor to their facial features. Archaeologists have uncovered over 2,000 of these remarkable statues. But there could be more yet to be found. Now that's seriously spooky. The emperors too might hold undiscovered secrets, and currently, even modern technology cannot unveil what lies within its walls. However, gaining access is out of the question. The tomb is strictly off-limits. Chinese authorities have prohibited entry for good reason. The tomb is surrounded by a moat filled with deadly mercury. Someone really didn't want their tomb getting ransacked. If this isn't the plot of an Indiana Jones movie, then we don't know what is. 